You know what sucks? Leeches. Alright, welcome back everybody to the throwing playthrough. We had a great time last time fighting the Moon Lord. How fun. I love that. Hooray! In this episode, it has been at least a whole entire week since the last episode. And during that span, I was doing a little bit of extra farming here and there. And we can move on here. Now check this out. I didn't even notice this. But look at this, we got two more spaces and I put stuff in these two more spaces. Look how tremendous that is. I fought the leech a co Leech? Did I just say leech? See, I, fucking, I said that shit about leeches at the beginning, now I'm talking about leeches. Killed the lich and I got this. This was something I was trying to get for a while now. Very interesting uh, accessory. And uh, we are going to make a weapon here. Now this is one of the only like throwing weapons I can see that can do high, 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 high amounts of damage. Uh, in the meantime, but in the meantime, why did I say that? Why did I say that? To be honest, why did I use that word? Okay, hold up. There's some things we're gonna have to calculate here, and one of that things is we might have to fight the lunar cultists again, which is a tremendous thing to do. I love fighting them. I don't. I don't. I don't like fighting the pillars either, but that might be something we have to do. But let's just let's just take this nice and slow. Okay, how much do we need to craft this? Oh, not too much. Wait, what was I trying to craft in the first place? Come on. We want to get this stuff ready for Ragnarok. Because we got to give an attempt at Ragnarok eventually. And it may or may not be this episode. So let's take a look here. So Ragnarok. We only need one of each and then we need the Luminite stuff. So can I make that right now? Can I, can I please just make that right now? Just have that out of my brain. What? Have that crafted already. Alright, hold up here. So now... How many of these do I need to craft what I'm trying to get? Probably a good bit. I say 20 at least. Minimum 20. Well, I have just enough for 20. Huh. Yes. All right. So we're going to make this right here. Solar eruption. And the reason why I want to make this is so I can make a certain weapon here that does a lot of throwing damage. And needs this north pole. And that's this right here. Ancient matter manipulator. What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, I guess the regular daybreak. Okay, so let's craft this. The melee damage is a throwing damage one. I don't get what. Okay, whatever. Boom, bada bing. So here's the regular one. Look at oh, now this may like may not seem like it does a lot of damage, but it actually does a lot of damage. Do you do you see that? <laughs> do you see that shit raining from the sky? We gotta give a test to this, alright? We gotta give a test to this. It may look like, oh, it just did a little. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Nah, that bitch go boop, 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 boop. Alright, that might be bad explanation, but let's let's just pretend it's a good one. Hold up, here. Where do I craft the Luminite armor? Are these cheap? I mean, I don't have exactly enough to make it. The only good thing about this armor compared to the armor I have right now, which I actually have the Terrarium armor on, because I was farming for that. But the only good thing about the Luminite armor is that it's got higher defense over the Lich armor, but it, uh, it doesn't matter that much. So let's look for, oh, Steampunker, that's exactly who I wanted. Uh, make the mechanical worm just to show off this raw power here. Um, now let me dip myself in honey, and then let me say, um, like I'm meditating. Okay, yep, let's just open all these up. So you gotta use this correctly or it won't do the right amount of damage, and the way to use it correctly is throwing it up in the sky. So let's let's uh, just do this here. All right, look at the DPS. Look at the deep. Look at the DPS. Look at the DPS. Look at the DPS. <laughs> We're up in the K's right now. The 10 K's. Holy hell! Can you believe that damage? That that was the destroyer. Remember when we had troubles with that guy? Remember when we had to use this stuff to kill that guy? We had to use that to kill that guy, and now, kind of just insta-kill them. No problem or anything. Okay, so, let's, oh my god. I, I'm not going to be a fan of what's going to come in the future. Hold up. Where, oh, I don't got enough room. Alright, might as well sell it then. Bye-bye. Okay, so I'm not a fan of what's to come in the future here. In the very near future. Uh, but... What I'm talking about is th this right. Oh, what am I clicking on? What I'm talking about is this right here, the Ragnarok. 
I'm not looking forward to this whatsoever. Um, hold up, I gotta move my chair. Primarily because it's hard and then I don't exactly have the right materials to craft it anymore. Shut up, chair. Wait, I might have enough to craft one more. Yeah, I think I have enough to craft one more. Wait. No, no, no. Wait. Yeah, dude. I got enough to craft one more, so might as well give it an attempt in this episode. I don't exactly know what I'll need to even fight him. I'll be 100% honest here. Boop. Look at that. Can I craft one more? Yes. Thank you for this. Thank you for this. So, we're, we're gonna attempt this. It's, uh, it's not gonna be easy, to say the least. Definitely not gonna be easy whatsoever. So, I'm gonna put away the stuff I don't really need anymore. I don't know what I just killed. I'm very sorry. I don't need a lot of things. My chair is extremely loud. I, I apologize, like always, for this chair. I can't control it anymore. It has a mind of its own. How much damage does this do? I feel like this, I feel like this can do, like, a lot of damage. But I never took advantage of the damage. Never took advantage of the damage. Alright, let's, uh, find some stuff to throw these at. Everything has a lot of health, too. That's because Urgent has a uh, post Moon Lord, uh, post Moon Lord, whatever, damage upgrade. I mean, health upgrade. I guess damage upgrade, too. So now everything has like a million health. Like, look at this guy's health. He's like a mini boss. You wanna, you wanna be a mini boss? You'll die like a mini boss. That shit straight up lags my game. Like, that's not, a, that's not a, yeah. All right, get out of here. Make it rain on him. Alright. Holy shit, there's so many enemies. So, this is what we're gonna do. Um, what other potions can I make? Let's see if we can make any more potions. Why do I, What? Get that garbage out of my inventory. My chair is falling yet again. That's just, uh, something that happens all the time. Reduces damage thing by 10%. Hell yeah, what the heck? Why not? Why would I not want that? Alright, I think we're good. Other than that. But, uh, let's... We got pretty much all the accessories we're gonna need to survive here. Maybe I, I wanted a Terrarium Defender, but I gotta kill another Lich, which, um... Not Lich, uh, what's he called? That big-ass bastard. As in all of them, the Lunar Pillars include... Ow! Come on, now. It's fucked up. Look at that. Look at that. Make a rain on this fool. Ow! I'm trying to hit him. <laughs> It's a hard thing to do with this weapon. There you go. Oh my god, there's another one? Really? Fuck off! What is this? Okay, let's let's see how this goes. I do have auto pause on, which is a very good thing. Indeed. Hold up. <clears throat> Trying to fix my wrist thing. Okay. Get the get the Doom Slayer's coin. And then uh what else do I need to do? Buff and then activate this. Holy shit, we're dead already. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it, we're dead already, guys. This is the goal in this, is to uh, constantly just use this the whole time against Ragnarok. Now, there's three dudes here in Ragnarok. There's the green guy, there's the blue guy, and then there's the orange guy. One of them is named... Yeah, and then the other one is named, like, Aqueous? Or Aqueous? I killed Aqueous. Look at that. Now, these guys, they don't exactly die once you kill them. They just kind of... Once you kill them, their soul kind of just floats around and fucks with you. And it ain't a nice thing when a, a soul comes around and fucks with you. That's like when, like, an old person is like, Hey, when I die, I'm gonna haunt you because of what you did to me. And you're like, chill, grandma. <laughs> That's a dumb example. I've never done anything to my grandma. Alright, what is... I don't know what's happening right now, to be honest. I'm kind of just fighting at this point. Hoping... Hope, hoping... Hypey! What? Alright, let's keep it going though. I feel like we're doing okay here. Uh, because we aren't exactly dead yet, so that's good enough for me. Uh, has someone actually been defeated? Have I? Did I win? <laughs> did I win like this? What the? And what did I tell you guys? I'm the greatest Terraria player in the world. We actually did it. I'm more than surprised right now. Why do I have a trophy over my head? Rally record, no source of existence that books out people. What did I even get? I wasn't even paying attention. Mask of Tides, my favorite. Oh, dude. True Penguin one, look at that. Now I can one hit even more things. Okay. Let's go ahead and one hit this fucking wolf. All Why did I die? Alright. Let's, uh, you know. You know. 
I'm not gonna look at anything yet. I'm gonna fight them again because that seems a little bit too simple. I'm not trying to brag or anything. Look how much damage this does. Should I use this? I'll probably use this. Whatever. Um, let's, let's do it again. What am I doing? Let's do it again. Bring it, Rag. Bring it, Ragnarok. I don't think I want to get close enough for these guys to even touch me. So I'm not gonna. Instead, I'll just stick to this tactic of uh, just dashing around. Look at the damage meter. Like, I thank God for this weapon. Thank God for this weapon. All I need to do was the pain of fighting the ice cream, which is, that's a easy task. Alright. All we gotta do is just keep our distance. We're fine. Literally, we win if we keep our distance. Alright, watch out for that now. I like the trophy over my head, though. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel good about myself. Uh-oh. Don't get caught out now. Don't get caught out now. Don't get out. Ow. Okay. Oh, look at that mini meteorite. Slag Fury, the Fading Flame, has been defeated. That's bullshit. Don't bullshit me there. We still got more progress to be doing here. Aqueous Almagamates. Slag Fury, the Desperate Flame, has been defeated. Ah! That's that, like, whirling tornado of doom. Whirling dervish. So tell me if you guys know what's going on right now. Omnicide? What the hell is an Omnicide? What, what is this right here? Can I just take a... Alright, no. No taking a second. No time to realize what I'm fighting. Dead? He's dead already. That... That... Is extremely easy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. That That's just uh, a little bit too easy for me. At least with this weapon. Okay, so... Let's pop this baby open. We got another fucking true penguin one. You think I care about this? You think I care about doing this much damage? Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. God damn. Hey, might as well... Okay, we can't exactly find the moon lord. But hey, yeah. Hey. 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 Okay, so. I don't know why I'm saying A, hey, but let's just... Yeah, okay. So let's put this in here. Um, and then... Let us... Do I do more damage than wearing this? Okay, obviously, but I think terrarium is like way more beneficial to me. So! Whoa, what is, it, what is this two minute debuff we have on us? What? Touch our Omnicide. When, uh, when this buff runs out, your fate will be sealed. Um... <laughs> I don't know about that. Where's the nurse? Nurse, I need you to get these debuffs off me. I think I'm pretty sure she heals debuffs. Positive. Yeah, that, he, that debuff has to be gone. Like, come on, now. That's not there. Kind of buggy with all the mods I have in. But yeah, I think we are pretty much calling it quits very, very soon. Let's take a look here at some of these weapons. Almanac of Despair... Devil's Claws, Hellbringer Staff, Molten Banner. Interesting. Uh, Ocean's Judgment. Ocean, I think, is the set we want for us. Uh, Master Abolished Hood, which is arranged. Very cool. Omni Bow, Omni Cannon, Assassin's Walkers, Mababiba, uh, Pyromancer's Cowl, Pyromancer's Legging, Pyromancer's Tabard, Magma Seer's Mask. That's a summoner item. Seven Seas Devastator. Holy shit. The Javelin, 847 damage. Tidal Wave. Throws out aquatic shurikens that stagnate midair, then unleash tidal waves. Here's a throwing armor right there. What is this one? So this is the one we want then. Try Turner's Death Cowl. Uh, ooh, even more throwing weapons. All right, let's get all the throwing armor here. Boom, bada, bing, and we got tons to spare. Let's make this, and let's make this. So that means we can get rid of these two right here. Uh, let's retire these weapons here. Sad to see all these weapons be retired. Look at this. Get rid of the goddamn sickle. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Okay. And now let's equip our tide armor. Take off this armor. Holy hell, we look like a king. Literally, look at the crown, dude. Crown on deck. All right. Let's see here. Sell that. We can finally put this armor up. Hold up. Get rid of this. Get rid of that armor. We're gonna put the lich armor on here. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Boom, bada, bing. When's if I do this to this? Okay, see, we didn't get a helmet back. That's that's what happens. Oh, did anybody see the health of the zombie? I had like 400 health. I don't know if it did. I was just guessing. Let's put this on. Because look, we duplicated a mannequin somehow. That's exactly what I meant to do. Okay. 
Uh, where is the shit I just placed? Okay, I guess it's not here. Look at that. Look at my mask. Don't I look beautiful? Thank you. Okay. I'm just trying to figure stuff out here. Ew. Why does boots look so... Oh, it has that on. What? What would I want that on? Ew! Look at the eye now. Okay, I don't think that'll affect me. Ew, don't do that. That's just disgusting. It's all disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, that, that'll work. That'll work. Okay, so, I think we're pretty much done with the episode, and we're pretty much at the end of this series, too. As, like, quick as that seemed, I didn't think we'd be able to fight them in this episode, so I'm just surprised as you guys are, if you guys are even surprised at all. If you had hope in me, then thank you. I appreciate it. But, there is some stuff that still needs to be done here, and when I say stuff that needs to be done, my boy Polly. He's got some stuff he sells that can make us have a little battle royale. And that, that seems like the way to go. That seems like that's the way to end a series with a giant fight. A humongous fight. Let's just take a look here. Deathbringer Fairy. So that's not in hard mode. <gasps> he sells a celestial sigil? Wait a minute, I never knew that. Uh, I'm fighting the Moon Lord real quick, man. Because uh, I kind of have this to true penguin on. Uh, hold up here. Why the hell do I keep opening these? Okay. Let's just fight them. What the heck? No, we're going to fight them, and We're going to have fun with this. We're going to have fun with this one right here. Alright, here he comes. I don't... Excuse me? Uh, I don't know what I'll exactly use. It's probably the Skybreaker. To be honest. Skybreaker is why I instantly killed the last one. Well, not really instantly killed the last one. What am I talking about? What am I talking about right now? Why am I preparing for this fight like I'm actually going to do something in it? You know what? I'll hit. Can I stay in the hunt? Let me stay in the hunt. You know, I'll break, I'll break like most of his... I'll just break his spirit. How about that? Where you at, bitch? Where you at, bitch? Bring that, bring that ass here. I can't hit the hand. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I can't get the other hand. I can't get the other hand, it's too far. Ah! Sick! Sick! Psych! Alright, look at that. We already did it. No, what am I doing? Um, am I even throwing this up? I am, alright. I just wanna see if it'll be hard at all just doing it this way. Probably will be. I probably will die doing it this way. I'm taking a lot of damage. Alright, fuck this. I'm I'm doing it this way. <laughs> it still does more damage in Ragnarok. At least Ragnarok is like actually kind of easy to escape. This guy is just kind of like sta staples on you. All right. Would you would you would you look at that? All right. Look what we got. Stuff that's not extremely useful to me. Dang, I have just enough mana to make that into the the beam. Okay. Well, let us go ahead and pick up a billion meteorites. Quick stack all of them. Let's talk to my boy Valid. Great name. That's a shitty name. I'm not even. I'm not even playing. You think I'm playing Valid? That's a garbage name. You can have the last prism. Don't think I'll ever use that ever. So let's make luminite bars. I think we should make the luminite armor. I guess might as well, even though we kind of do have the best armor set in the game at this moment uh, for throwing. That is. Where is the luminite? There it is. Boom bada bing. Might as well just check it out, see how it looks, though. Luminite. Boom, bada, bing. Uh-oh, I drank something. I didn't mean to drink that. Why do I have greater healing potions? Why has no one dropped the, like, mega greater healing potions? Alright, let's just take a look at us, though. I mean, it's cool looking. Other than my face. You can see my face. It's kind of ugly. Uh, well. I think because this set is straight up broken and doesn't exactly have a helmet, I'm just gonna replace it. And put the Illuminite set on. Unless this breaks. No, okay, we're fine. So I'm just gonna sell the rest of this armor set. But yeah, we are gonna have a battle royale in the next episode. And that's how the series will be ending off with a battle royale. This has been a fun playthrough. I'm finishing this playthrough before the uh, original playthrough I started, which is weird. But it also is a good thing. Because this, this playthrough right here showed me... 
that you can get through anything in Terraria. Even with the weaker classes, you can get through anything. And I'm very surprised we we made it as far as we did and then beyond as a thrower. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. We used a class that pretty much had, like, nothing in it. And then slowly, all the mods we used developed the class into a great class that has uh, even, like, late game armor set right here. But major thanks out to all the mods that, you know, helped this series progress. Uh, Thorium, primarily Tremor has a couple things here and there. Uh, of course, all the bosses from Thorium and Tremor. And then Urgent. Urgent's a big one. Urgent did help a lot. Zoklin is a big one. Uh, and then there's a couple other little ones in here too. Throwing Priority, whenever I did use it, it was a good mod. But yeah, shout out to all the mod people. They, they... They good people. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A lot of surprising factors came out of this episode. Like, I'm still kind of like stunned myself that I did beat uh, Ragnarok how it was. And then we just killed the Moon Lord one time. Might as well. You know, Penguin one on deck. Might as well. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. The finale of the throwing playthrough. And after this throwing playthrough will lead us into our newest playthrough. Which is a mage playthrough, mage only modded playthrough. See you later, you kids. My dick. <laughs>